a wire costs 10 million yuan. Why is it so difficult to make an aircraft carrier a resting wire? What happens when it breaks? Let's take a closer look in this video. The aircraft carrier is called a sea fortress, and it is a well-deserved overlord in naval battles. It is of extraordinary significance to a country's navy. The reason why the United States currently has such a huge influence in the world is because the United States has 11 aircraft carriers which form a powerful deterrent to all parts of the world. At present, China has also entered the era of three aircraft carriers, allowing the Chinese Navy to achieve a leap in strength. However, the technology of building an aircraft carrier is really difficult. The cost of a wire on the aircraft carrier alone is as high as 1.5 million US dollars. Currently, only four countries are capable of building it. But it is such a wire that has played a very important role in the successful landing of the aircraft. Without it, carrier-based aircraft cannot safely land on an aircraft carrier. This is because of the following reasons. One is that the length of the aircraft carrier deck is limited. The length of the deck of an aircraft carrier is generally around 200 to 300 meters, and the landing speed of a carrier-based aircraft is generally around 200 to 300 kilometers per hour. If there is no arresting wire device, the carrier-based aircraft needs to slow down and stop by itself within a very short distance, which is very difficult and dangerous. Even if the pilot uses brakes, reverse thrust, etc., it is difficult to guarantee a successful stop every time, and it will cause great damage to the aircraft. The second is that the movement of the aircraft carrier is unstable. When an aircraft carrier is traveling at sea, it will be affected by factors such as waves, wind, and tides, which will cause the deck to pitch, roll, and yaw. These movements will bring great difficulties and dangers to the landing of carrier-based aircraft. If there is no arresting wire device, the carrier-based aircraft needs to precisely control the landing point and landing angle to adapt to the movement of the deck, which is very difficult and dangerous. The third is the high demand for aircraft carrier operations. The aircraft carrier is an important strategic force of the Navy, and it needs to be able to deliver carrier-based aircraft for operations on a global scale. In order to improve the combat capability of the aircraft carrier, it is necessary to improve the takeoff and landing efficiency of the carrier-based aircraft, so that more aircraft can complete tasks in a shorter time. If there is no arresting wire device, the carrier-based aircraft will need to take up more deck space and time to land, and require more fuel and maintenance to ensure safety. This will reduce the combat efficiency and effectiveness of the aircraft carrier. So don't look at the arresting wire as such a thin one, it is related to the survival of the aircraft and even the pilots, and it is full of technical support behind it. Taking the U.S. Aircraft Carrier Battle Group as an example, its carrier-based aircraft will be much slower than normal flight speed when preparing to land, but will still maintain a high-speed flight state of 500 km to 800 km. Firstly, this is the minimum flight speed for fighter jets to fly, and secondly, if the landing fails, the aircraft can have enough power to take off for the second time at this speed. The total length of the U.S. aircraft carrier is only more than 300 meters, and due to the space occupied by other equipment on the ship, the distance of its runway is further shortened. It is reported that the main runway of the U.S. aircraft carrier is only more than 200 meters away, and the distance from the side runway near the left side of the ship is even less than 200 meters. And the distance between the two runways is only a few dozen meters. 
To put it simply, it is a thin metal wire which must be able to hold a plane traveling at full speed without braking, otherwise the plane will crash and the pilot will die. When designing the arresting wire, not only must there be sufficient pulling force to ensure that the aircraft can be forced to stop, but also attention must always be paid to offset the collision between the flight deck and the aircraft body when the aircraft lands, so as to avoid the tragic phenomenon of crashing the deck and disintegrating the aircraft. It's not easy. Therefore, every part of the arresting wire requires rigorous scientific calculations and various cutting-edge materials. It can be said to be the lifeline of the carrier-based aircraft, so the cost of an arresting wire is as high as 1.5 million US dollars, equivalent to about 10 million yuan, which is completely reasonable. However, the arresting wire can stop the aircraft. In addition to its own strength, the supporting arresting system is also very important. Although on the deck, only the existence of the arresting wire can be seen, but below the deck, there is actually a whole set of hydraulic systems connected to it. When the tail hook of the carrier-based aircraft hooks the arresting wire, the pulley drives the buffer system to absorb the huge impact force of the aircraft, so that it stops smoothly within the specified distance. The arresting wire technology was first invented and used by the United Kingdom. At present, only the United Kingdom, the United States, Russia and China are able to independently produce arresting wires. This shows how difficult the research and development of the arresting wire is. The seemingly ordinary arresting wire is not easy to make. When China was not able to manufacture arresting wires, it also thought about importing them. But at that time, the United States intended to curb China's development speed, so it did not agree. In desperation, China decided to take the road of independent research and development and explore and explore on its own. It took China four months to develop the 10 million renminbi wire, while it would take years for the rest of the world to develop the same technology. The research process of this technology is very difficult and requires a lot of capital and human investment. China's successful research is of great significance to China's aircraft carrier career. On November 25, 2012, China's first carrier-based aircraft intercepted landing test was a complete success. It only took two to three seconds from the tail hook of the carrier-based aircraft and the hook of the arresting wire to the stop of the aircraft, showing good technical performance. And the most critical blocking wire is made by China itself. Like China's Liaoning aircraft carrier, it uses domestic arresting wires. The arresting wire is composed of six steel wire ropes, and each steel wire rope is twisted by 12 main steel wires, 12 intermediate scale steel wires and six thin steel wires arranged in a triangle. And lubricating oil should be infiltrated between the wire ropes to ensure its toughness and lubricating performance. Although the arresting wire with a diameter of 35 mm is not good in appearance, it truly reflects China's technical strength. China's successful research on carrier-based aircraft arresting wire is exciting news. This shows that China has made significant progress in the field of science and technology and also demonstrates China's strength in the fields of defense and aviation. The successful research of this technology will help China enhance its position in international competition and is expected to further expand the carrier-based aircraft arresting wire market. To sum up, no matter how expensive the blocking wire is and how difficult it is to develop it, it has not become an obstacle to China's aircraft carrier business. On the contrary, China has fully developed its own subjective initiative in the process of developing this technology.
In the future, China will also become a country with more aircraft carriers, which will help China move towards rejuvenation, prosperity, and strength. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.